thought I would add in some servos. Servos are pretty easy to wire up. Um, there are three pins sticking up on the left, three pins on the right. Uh, happens to be pin 13 and pin 14 for the uh, signal plus ground and battery. Important thing is to make sure you plug the right pins from your servo into the right places. Um, as it says, they're brown to ground. Sometimes it's a black wire also. Now the red to battery doesn't really help you much because that one's always in the middle. Um, orange to signal, I have also seen yellow. My wires here are actually yellow, red and black. I have one here that is yellow, red, or orange actually, red and brown. So pretty easy to wire up. Oops, hide the LED because I have a program running. So just plug it in. Um, again, they give you a little sample code. Nice little thing. I created a simple code that if I press button A, do a 90-90. If I press button B, uh, take, them to, take them to zeros. I was fiddling around with stuff, and that's just what I ended up with. I also have one set it, you know, starting out at zero and starting out at 90. I happen to throw the LEDs in there to know which button I pressed. All sorts of things going on here. Um, a lot more logic than you ready that you might be ready for. But I can tell you the whole logic from the beginning. So when I start, I gotta tell it I got a strip of NeoPixels. They are on pin two. It says on the bit booster pin two. Ten. I want to turn it down a little bit to 100, but they're still pretty darn bright. I want to set my servos at certain locations. I actually started out trying to use a continuous rotation servo where on 14 and 90 would be off. It wasn't working though, so I got to figure that out. And then I split my NeoPixel up into two ranges, range one, range two. I could have called those servo one and servo two. Those are just variables. You see it's a drop down menu. So that's, that pulls up all the variables that are in the variable thing. And I told it to do uh, five NeoPixels, five LEDs starting at zero and starting at five. And I have it starting off yellow, caution, ready to go. And then my command is if I press button A, take uh, both servers to 90. Well, one's already at 90, so it doesn't move. And put one set of colors green and one set of colors red. If I press button B, take them to zero. Now again, this was supposed to be a continuous rotation servo on 14. So zero would have been all the way left or, or counterclockwise. Keep spinning. But for some reason, it's not doing that. It's just going basically zero to 90. And I got to figure out why. Oh yeah, and set my colors to uh, range two being green, range one being red. So, so there are my servos. If I press A, so you heard one move, and you saw it. You can't really tell, but the top lights are green and the bottom lights are red. And if I press my other button, they're, they're now they're both moving, going from zero to ninety. Uh, I could you can have to do anything, but again, I was trying to get the continuous rotation to do something backwards, forwards, but it wasn't playing with me. And then you could tell, maybe I got some paper here, but that's gonna make it easier to see. Next, and you can't tell which is lit up. So, servo's pretty easy to add on. Um, the, the continuous rotation one, which actually this is, uh, where are you? There you are. And that's what the R is supposed to mean, I thought. That's what it is, rotation. Um, I gotta figure out why that one's not spinning forever forwards and backwards when I press a button. That's my only thing. But for the, the 0 to 90 to 180, those are really working great. Talk to you later. Remember I said I was having trouble with my continuous rotation servo? So I grabbed another one out of my box of toys. And that's because it's at 90. And that's at zero. 
I remember that's what the codes were telling us to do. Um, this press button B sent pin 13 to zero. And that is running full speed, one direction. And then this is good. If I press button A, it's going to set pin 13, which one I'm plugged into, to, to 90, which is off. So that's the right codes for the continuous rotation servo. Just the one that I had going must not have been the continuous rotation like it's supposed to be. So the, the continuous rotations do work. And people are using those kind of like motors. And, you know, it's a smaller size. You got to consider them with what's with the torque and things like that. But so it does work.